welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb and I'm here to show you my fairy garden that I've been talking about and the peach tree so if you look it's doing really good it has nice blossoms nice branches um, and I plan on propagating some of the branches off of here and see what happens this spring summer and we have uh well I always talk about my dog so I thought hey there she is might as well give you a good picture of her she's sitting still well look at her uh, she's like my audience <laughs> on the bench as you can see because we're really proud of this um, you know I'm a channel that likes to recycle and this uh, fairy garden is made up of um... all right so <laughs> boy she ever been a really good dog for us um, this is all made out of pallets and we do a lot of recycling with that um, so the tree looks good and I want to bring you in closer so I'm gonna bring you in closer and as you can see um, I started it like that's all my fairy gardens but that's not what I really wanted to point out you'll see that I have uh, lots of things growing in here there's creeping Julie there's um, lavender back there my lavender I grew there's um, a mixture of moss it's not coming up yet because it's a little early still so all the plants that are not in there are not up yet but you can see the yellow part um, I'll bring you in closer to see some of the stuff but um, I do want to point out something here though so the tree is doing really well and you have to understand when I first got the dirt it was a three-in-one kind of soil that we bought and it didn't really do the tr tree the first year the tree actually died and we had to replace it with another tree and the, the second tree as we amended the soil the tree started to do really well and then we had a frost last year which almost killed the tree and I took all the leaves off and as you can see it's doing much better right now and branches came out from it and um, it's looking amazing I'm probably gonna do another trimming with it but I want to get you the connection with the flowers okay so you're talking about now I have flowers and I'll be putting more things in here but I have flowers that are in there that's gonna pollinate now they're gonna be happy because the flowers are gonna attract them to my um, fairy garden and they're gonna pollinate the flowers from the trees plus um, I also put garlic and onion in this I mean over in the, the far left corner as you look hard enough um, you'll see that I have that in there you know why because that attracts worms worms are irrigators and they do a wonderful job and I noticed that since we amended the soil I see a lot more worms in here they're happy little worms plus like I said the um, onions and garlic were kind of hid they look like a plant back there anyways and uh, everybody seems to be getting along the tree likes it the flowers like it it's just I mean it's decorative for me because that's why I wanted a fairy garden but it's not why I'm showing you it it's the fact of all the connections are in one spot in a box and that's another thing this box is well this raised bed is a two and a half inch hot height and that's a lot for worms to travel and everything like that so that's pretty good if we're talking about worms coming up and going in my my garden and it's much healthier because now when I I uh, dig in there I can see worms were the first and second year um, I really didn't do anything I'd be putting some worms in and it just wasn't right and the tree wasn't happy that's the first year like I said it died the first year he put it in but this year this tree is looking amazing the second tree it was looking good last year it started to look good at the end of the year but in the beginning it was budding and everything and then a frost hit it and like I said um, I'm repeating it but it almost killed it so now if I try to show you again and go back with it um, nope well I'm gonna bring you up here and show you how well the tree is doing and all the blossoms on it I wanted to do this filming now so that you could see all the blossoms on it it's so pretty and of course um, I wanted you look at she's just being such a good girl you wanted you to see Lacey how she's just hanging out the bench is perfect how we designed it so we could sit I could work in the garden if I want I could just sit here with it and she's having a nice relaxing moment in front of it so it works it's not big I I'm trying to think of it's at least six by six um, maybe I don't know six by six eight by eight section but you can see all the stuff I got going in there besides the fairy garden part of it like I said I'm trying to think of all this stuff I see right now but the moss is going to be coming up so let's do a closer thing I'm going to bring you in closer for the different sections so the moss is right right in here somewhere you can see the green coming up 
Let's get you closer here. Okay. Right here's the moss. Right there, you can see it coming up. I put um, more, that's another thing I put over it. This I put mulch every time over it because it's, it keeps the, the tree roots hot because they start to come up in here. So we cover the tree roots and I just, it moistens everything, moisturize all the root of everything. You can see right here, there's, um, I think I can, try to see if you can see what I'm showing you. There's some hostesses. Now the hostesses will be moved later on because they get too big in here, but I just put baby hostesses in here. When they get bigger, hostesses are amazing. By the way, that's another thing I've uh, talked about. Hostesses is uh, a plant that is well liked by all kinds of pollinators from the, the, the worms. So when I dug, dig them up, um, I'd love to show you that, that there's a bunch of worms hanging around the bottom roots of a hostess. And when the flower blooms, I used to cut them off, I didn't like them. But now when the flower blooms, I see all, all, all kinds of insects um, besides bees and all kinds of pollinators hanging around the flowers of it. So this is a really vital plant for, as far as I'm concerned. That's why I put it here every, all the time. So let me see. We have, um, like I said, at the edge of this. Let's see if I can get you in. This is Creeping Julie. This is Creeping Julie, and this is Periwinkle, and you can see they have little purple flowers, which I was talking about. Uh, let's show you right here. And if I bring it back on the back, like I said, there's, I have between onions and garlic in here. Right here's one. It's hard, it's kind of sunny out here, I'm trying to film this. Um, it's awkward, but... And the rosemary is just starting to come back. That's going to take, you'll see it's be in full bloom later on. It's just, uh, right, let's check this out. Yeah, there's my hand. I was trying to show you. There's a, um, I'm trying to think. I have both in here, garlic and onions in here that I throw a little bit all over the place. Yeah, and then. I will be adding too, and marigold sometimes comes up here too. Because I pulled the mulch, I can't see it right now, but um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some, my, two of my other raised beds to show you what to look out for. Like, don't be in a hurry to dig up is what I'm trying to tell you, because you're gonna find some things that come up, and if you were to dig, dig it up, you would miss totally some new lettuce or different things you're gonna see coming up. Marigold's one of them. All right, this is what I wanna say. All right, there's a perfect view. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Keep gardening, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.